What's going on, everybody? Troy here from Troy's Hobbies. Hey, howdy, howdy. It's been a while since I did a Husky video, and it's time. I'm actually a little over, past due for my first oil change. I haven't done one. The uh, manual is quite confusing. Uh, I think they could have done the manual a little better. Oh, but yeah, here she is. Uh, I, I bought this uh, last season. I think it was last season. Uh, the date will be down below somewhere. I have to check it check it out. I actually did a uh, arrival video, so I'll have the exact date. But I I purchased it pretty much at the end of my mowing season. I'm here in a eastern Washington, so you know we don't we don't mow year round here. It's you know it gets cold pretty fast, and then of course snow. But yeah, she's a little dusty. She's due for an oil change. It has cooled down enough. Just to double check, this is the tune-up kit. This is for the FR600V. FR600V. So, of course, a quick thing to do is uh, we're going to clean the outside first, especially my, dip, my dipstick looks like crap. Look at that. My goodness. Uh, of course, we'll clean up the area so no particles get inside the engine. Clean The easy one's going to be this, of course, right here. That's an easy one. Yeah, that's due. We'll do that really quick and then go through each process. Uh, I do have some squeaking underneath going on with the uh, tires and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and lubricate that, hopefully, fingers crossed. And yeah, let's get to it. We're going to go ahead and let's open this up really quick. Couldn't find my pocket knife. I apologize. Watch me stab right through and stab into the uh, TV. That'd be hilarious. No, it would not be hilarious. My son would not be too happy being that it's his TV out here. He has it all like working out. All right. I already know I paid. It's convenience. You're paying for convenience, but uh, this is overpriced. I don't. Actually, I don't know. I need to uh, find where I can get all this stuff separately and see if I if it comes out to uh, being cheap or not. So two bottles of SAE 10W40. I am keeping the boxes. Engine tune-up kit. Oh, I like that. The Husky uh, manual sucks. This actually has for the uh, Kawasaki engine. All you need. I didn't even need to pull out the manual because the Husky manual sucks. It tells me that my drain plug is on the back left when it's on the back right. So I'm glad this comes with it. Thank you, thank you, Kawasaki. We'll see, uh, check the spark plugs and all that good stuff. There's a filter, nice filter. Okay, okay. And nothing else in the, in the box, we'll put that aside. Spark plug. And filter is in here you get the fuel filter I don't even think I need to change the fuel filter but I got the box I'm gonna do it all right get this all in one video you have the nice little cute little oil filter 49065-0721 Kawasaki make sure when you take the old one off that the uh, the rubber gasket actually uh, comes off with it and that stick on there you don't want to have double gasket you'll have a leak and two uh, NGKRs, spark plugs, and like I said, fuel filter. Right. On the Husky manual, it says that my drain plug's on the left, back left. No, it's right here. I can see it. See it? It's right there. There it is, right there. All right. Let's, let me. Oh, I need to grab the uh, other stuff. All right, folks. I'm going to do something out of the ordinary for a guy like me. I'm going to follow the instructions. So they want me to change the air filter, so we're going to do that now. By the way, if you hear me coughing, <clears throat> I'm allergic to about three pages stuff here now. Since, uh, let me see, I'm 47. When I turned 44, roughly around there, I started coughing really bad. And my neighbor farmer started growing Timothy grass, and that's what I'm primarily uh, allergic to. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to sell my house here in the Pacific North Northwest and probably move back to Arizona. And, of course, um, Timothy grass, of course, says, hey... It's race, they use it for racehorses. It's one of the things I'm allergic to. And of course, hay. So of course, Kentucky bluegrass, I'm allergic to, but not as bad. So if you hear me sniffling and coughing, I do apologize. Please bear with me, all right? 
So we're gonna go ahead and follow the instructions and uh, go down the list. Number one is change the air filter. So you got a tab here, feels like it. Looks like it unscrews. Oh, that's it. I thought the whole thing popped out. That was easy. Look at that, yeah. I should have been paying more attention. I checked it before and it looked all right and then I must have had a lapse in judgment and didn't check it. But yeah, that's filthy. So it's all the same. There's no top bottom. So I think they had the numbers to the right, but it doesn't really matter. It looks like it. That's filthy. So we'll check around here. Clean. Sure. More interested in not pushing anything back inside. Well, that was really darn easy, folks. Go ahead and slide that in there. <clears throat> oh, this motor is going to be happy when we're done, folks. Yeah, that seems right. Let's go ahead and tighten this plastic. Don't over tighten it. This might break. It's like a little black plastic key. That's it. We are done with number one, numero uno. Close that up. <clears throat> yeah, let's throw that aside. That's nasty. I've never done this before, but they want me to unhook the uh, spark plug, which is fine because we are going to replace it. That's an easy, easy job. The only issue I have is uh, I added the uh, stabilizer bar uh, for my uh, mower for the uh, bagger. So I might have to remove that. There we go. One out. All I have to do is remove these bolts here. Drop this down. Uh, so I have access to better access to the spark plug. Go ahead and remove the other one on this side. Yeah, see the bars are in the way. So that's an extra job for me. If you don't have a bagger, then you don't have to deal with this. It definitely make it easier, which is fine. It's just two bolts. Yeah, come on, boy. Let's go. There we go. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. The insert popped out. That's not good. See that? Good Lord, I hope that didn't break anything. Oh no. Folks, I got a socket set with it. Looks like it's an 18 millimeter. I got it loose. Let's see if I can not burn myself. I should have took the bar off. Let's see if I burn myself. Make sure there's a little gasket on here. There we go. Then we'll open up. There you go. Let some air in there. Perfecto mundo. Yeah, that was past due for an oil change. Definitely. On the manual, it states uh, 25, 50, and 100 hours. But you can see the little uh, plug. Make sure that the, uh, the gasket's on here and not stuck in there, okay? And make sure you clean it out place it put it aside so when i pull the uh cable off this popped out so uh, this is not good that's for sure so uh, my friend neighbor friend's gonna come over farmer he's very uh mechanically inclined this shouldn't have come off that easy we're gonna see if we can get it on or maybe i screwed it up and i gotta take this all the way to the city to get it fixed i don't know but fingers crossed so we're just waiting for the uh oil to drain yeah it is what it is it's completely drained i'm just letting it go we had an issue i pulled too hard on the cable for the spark plug and this popped off my uh, farmer neighbor i tell you if you have a farmer nearby make friends with him he has every tool that i don't have so he's going back we just cut cut the uh the sleeve the uh boot whatever you call it for the cover and so we're going to put it back on and he's gonna he had to go back to the farm and uh, grab he's gonna put heat shrink over it right and and get that fixed so i can be up and running this one's already been replaced by the way this uses a big big spark plug as you can see three quarter inch this is the right side this is what the right side looks like 
So, and also, I checked the gap. They want you between, uh, what was it? 0.7 and 0.8 millimeter or 0 0.028 and 0 0.032 inches. And so we checked it. It was at a loose 0 0.028, more at both at 0, all right, 0 0.029. So they're good to go. So they're both the same, but yeah, you'll need a three quarter inch spark plug. That's what I'm doing now while he's going back to get the heat shrink. He doesn't like to be on camera, so I'm doing this now. I'm gonna pull this out. I didn't have to take my bar off. Just gotta work one piece in at a time. Don't drop it. This one-handed operation, as you can see. Let's see, so you need a three-quarter inch spark plug remover. So let's see. I don't know if you can see that on video. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and replace this really quick. We'll be good to go and then he'll be back. Work this in by hand really quick. Get it going. We don't want to uh, mess up the uh, threads. Take your time. There we go. Go ahead and put this on there. See, everything fits. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten it down. He told me how far to go, feel-wise. I, I do have a torque wrench. It's one of those Harbor Freight ones, and I do not trust it. Yeah, that's good. Don't wanna over-tighten it. So we're, to, we're good to go on that. <laughs> the filter's right there. Let's go ahead and uh, replace that really quick. Yeah, just make sure everything's clean. I'm gonna wipe that down so I don't get anything in the oil filter or inside the uh, opening. And then same thing here, I'm gonna clean this and then put a little bit of fresh oil around the lip of the gasket. Before we continue, I clean the, uh, the plug here. I'm gonna re reattach this. Screw this back on, see if you can see it there. And then I'll tighten it down so it's not leaking. Okay, this, I could not get that tool, this tool down in there. But luckily, somebody at the factory didn't crank the shit out of this to tighten it. It's all, yeah, that's easy money. All by hand. Let me double check, make sure it's draining. They have a little, I don't know if you can see it. There's like a little opening. See it there for the oil to go through. So make sure you clean everything up because you might have some hit in the frame. Yep, that's hitting the frame of the uh, mower. Let's go ahead and just take it off all the way. There we go. <clears throat> there you go. You see underneath make sure you uh, wipe everything down afterwards because it leaks all over the bottom of the frame there see there oops sorry finger in the way so you can see that look at that yeah make sure that all gets wiped down so you can check in the future for possible leaks so I'm just gonna let this sit and collect most of that I'm gonna try and get in there and wipe the rest of it with a towel all right all right, my farmer friend's pulling up. So what you didn't see off camera is I did take a clean towel and clean around where this connects the metal. So all we're gonna do is dip my fingers in here and put a, put a uh, fresh coat. That's it, that's it. We're gonna go ahead and reattach this. See you guys in a bit. We are almost done, folks. New filters on. We're just finishing up the repair on this. He's gonna shrink this to, to make it uh, waterproof. I just need to uh, clean the bottom of the uh, the base there, as you can see. Oh, and put oil in, I gotta put oil in, yeah. All right, we got two cords here. It, this only takes for this motor. Make sure you check here if you have a different motor. 
uh, check the instructions. This only takes 1.8, do not overfill. And when you check with a dipstick, you don't tighten this, you don't screw it back in. You just plop it on top, lift up. So that's what we're gonna do now. And these come in very handy, the flexible, fle flexible ones. Many uses. All right, so this is one quart. This takes 1.8. Plus I wanna check for oil in the uh, dripping. This is 10W40, uh, which is what was recommended. I'll get it close, get the motor running, and then add if needed. Oops. Wipe that all over. All right, take the dipstick, place it in there. Do not screw it in. Just place it on top, just like that. Everything has to settle. Make sure you're on a flat surface. I don't know if you can see it. It's registering. Of course, it says add. Go ahead and clean that up. Definitely needs more. I'd rather check a dozen times than overfill. Yep, we're gonna add a little bit more. And give it a few minutes to let everything settle. Check again. <clears throat> Make sure you don't screw it in. Yeah, we're good. I'm comfortable with that. We're about three quarters of the way between the two, the full and the add. So I wanna drive it, circulate the oil before I go any further. Yeah, I'm very happy with that, folks. Hopefully you can see that in the camera. The third hole from the bottom is covered. So I'll do, I'll drive it around, get it warmed up, you know what I mean? Get everything circulated and then uh, let it rest for a few minutes and add the extra oil if needed. We are done. Waiting for him to come back so we can uh, heat shrink this piece right here. So it's waterproof because I accidentally pulled too hard on the cable. But new spark plugs are in. They're at, they are at 0 0.029. They want you between 0 0.028 and uh, 0 0.030. So we're in the middle. And they're both the same, gap the same. So and if you don't know what a gap tool is, this is what it looks like if you don't have one. If you're doing it on your own, just to double check, it's only a few dollars. I've had this one for years. And this one actually has both measurements on it. He was surprised I had one with both measurements. That's what it looks like there, see? Oops, sorry for the brightness. Yeah, comes in handy. So let me uh, go ahead and turn the uh, phone off. I'm gonna get to uh, cleaning the bottom, make sh making sure there's no leaks. Rick, really good shape, Troy. You ain't, you ain't hit much with them at all. A few, a few items, but yeah, I appreciate you. are going to sharpen them. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Spark plug repair done. Look at that cable. So right now I'm just going through. I do read the instructions. Somebody in their little moped. I'm going through the lubrication chart just to double check. Uh, so that's what's next. Uh, my, my farmer friend was kind enough to, uh, he has a, like I said, a whole workshop. So he's, he said that the uh, blades were actually in pretty good, decent shape. Of course, I only got 37 hours on this, but he's gonna go ahead and uh, sharpen them up for me while I'm going through this process. So I'm just gonna go around 
I'm not going to show this all because there's a bunch of little, uh, see there's little nipples. And it tells you on the list here, uh, lubricate with grease gun and all that. So I'm just going to go through the process. I'm not going to film this part because there's a, quite a few. Zerk. I keep calling them nipples. There's Zerk something. Zerk, Zerk fittings. So I got this and this, the two here, and then it's on the outside, right? Got that filled. And then I didn't even know that's what these are here. That's Zerk fittings. So if you have one of these, that's what that's for. So what you got to do is drop it all the way down to one, right? The problem is, is my grease gun. I need to buy the adapter for the... So it's just, you know, this is metal on the end. It's not flexible. I need the flexible hose. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought maybe I might. No, I can't get to No, I can't get to Just so close. That one definitely I cannot. But I need the uh, adapter, the flexible hose. So I can uh, grease this, that one. Put that down. And this one, here's another one on this side. There it is right there. Let's clean it up so you can see it, folks. But that's pretty much it. I already test drove it. You know, just make sure you test it. Make sure everything's, the blades are not hitting. Anything doesn't fall off. I did it on the grass away from the house. So right now I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup. I took the, the floor plate off, as you can see. Clean this with some degreaser. Uh, yeah. So the Zerk, here, here's the outside one. The Zerk. Zerk or Zerk. I think it's with a C or K. But yeah, there's none on the back side that I saw in the manual. But yeah, everything is done. Everything's clean. Uh, I ran it. I'm just letting it sit. And I'm going to check the oil if it needs to be filled. I will add more, more oil. Filter is in. That was the first thing we did. That looks great. Give that a quick wipe down. Why not? My only pet peeve is when you take the uh, oil filter, it's hard to see, it's right there. Uh, stuff spills, right? You can see there's a little opening there, little slit. Well, the oil, not all of it goes through that and gets all over the bottom plate. And then that's what the leaks are for. Everything's tight. That's just left over on the plate, the base plate right here. So I'll have some residue trying to get to it. It's not the best spot, especially being partially disabled. It's hard for me to get down there and lay down. And But I'll, sooner or later, I'll get, get most of that residue off. But yeah, that's it. So battery's fine. I always, during the winter, I have it on a battery tender. Love my battery tender. Everything looks good. Just did some cleanup. Like I said, the only thing I didn't do was the replace was the fuel filter. We are good, folks. That is it. I appreciate if you uh, find this video somewhat helpful. Interesting, whatever. Please give it a follow. Give it a like. I'd appreciate it. I do got to clean up. I've never used this hose fitting. So uh, where you hook the uh, hose to and clean out the grass. I do have some dried clipping there. I need to pop out with a screwdriver. But that's that's easy to do. Yeah, I'm just going to take a blower, blow this out really quick. Take some uh, degreaser. Let me grab that. And I forgot where I bought this from. Might have been Walmart. Grease Police Magic Degreaser. I'll just spray around there just to clean it up. And that is pretty much it, folks. Once again, thank you, everybody, for watching the video. Hit that follow. I appreciate it. Small channel. That is it. It's hot. I haven't even had breakfast or lunch, and it's uh, 1.17 in the afternoon. It's 90 something degrees here in Eastern. You can't even see outside. Eastern Washington State. Peace out, everybody. Bye bye.